Hello everyone, Free 64 Wii here. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, done a uh, vocal recording, but um, I figured I might as well say my opinions of the next Smash Brother, because, well, I've been watching so many, like, Smash Brother bots video, like, newcomer analysis and stuff, so I figured, hey, why not discuss my feelings, because... From what I hear, it's not too far from the Japanese release of Smash Brother, and God knows J Japan's gonna like spoil all the characters unless we get them before they do, but I doubt they'll happen unless we get like a direct or like a trailer that announces like the rest of the veterans, which could happen. We could get like Wario guest starring in the trailer, but until we hear that, uh, yeah. <laughs> Likely chance of Wario showing up either a lockable or in a trailer. But yeah, on to my thoughts. Okay, uh, uh, sorry if you hear any fan. My apartment makes lots of noise. Okay, um, let's see. My thoughts. Well, I haven't gotten to try Smash Butter because it's either been at, like, huge places like E3 and uh, Comic Con, I believe, and they had it at Best Buys, but I couldn't go because the lines were too long, and I wasn't gonna wait on a like two-hour line to play a game for two minutes. That's that's a waste of my time. Besides, I don't have any Best Buys near me, and I would have to get a ride from someone, and I doubt they would want to wait in line too. So, evidently. I have to wait, like, a lot of the world. But, from what I can tell, I really like how fast this game is compared to Brawl. Brawl was kind of slow, like, when you jumped it felt kind of slow, when you hit the ground, when you fell to your death, when you went flying. All of it seems slow, I mean, if you have Mario throw Bowser in melee, it's a swoosh, but when you do it in Brawl, it's, it goes like a, a huge whoosh, and it's like, what? But yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, kind of sick. Ah. But yeah, I really like the speed increase. Also, um, I have to say, I'm getting kind of used to the fiery smoke effect that happens when characters are like at 100%. And I'm getting kind of used to, the, like, colors when characters hit each other, because I was so used to not seeing that in Smash, but now that it's there, and after watching some videos, it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm sure there'll be, like, an option to turn off those effects, like, in options, because usually games have options to turn off effects or music and stuff. But yeah, those are nice touches for this game. Um, let's see, uh... I think the 3DS one's getting, like, really creative stages. I mean, so far, all the stages on the 3DS, except for, like, Battlefield and, um, the Punch-Out Ring, and maybe if you count Mega Man's Dr. Wily Castle, have all been unique, unique, uh, unique, uh, whatever he's has to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, let's see, there's a Pac-Man stage where you eat a hundred pellets, you get to eat the ghost. There's a Mario DS2 stage, or whatever it's called, I don't care about the news for my rare series that much. You get a hundred coins, you don't flinch, and you turn gold, and you get stronger. The train stage from Spirit Tracks looks fun. So far, all the free stages have been really, really creative, but the Wii U stage is not so much. Like, it's nice that we can turn off final, uh, uh, turn off hazards to make it a final destination stage, but I haven't seen anything that hazardous. Like, the Super Mario Bros. U stage, it has changing, and um, the Dr. Wily stage has the Yellow Devil, and those are the things you can do final destination of, but I really don't see the need for most of the other stages. They don't really do much. 
I mean, how would you fantasinationize the, the boxing ring? Just make it so it's a flat platform with a huge TV? Because the only hazard is the lights and maybe the ring, because the ring's ropes don't stretch, so if you hit the ri ring's ropes, you're, you could get looped there. Um, let's see, what else? Uh... I kind of feel like the Wii U version of Smash is going to be uh, better than the 3DS one just because um, the layout of a 3DS system seems kind of hard to make for Smash. Like, so far people have been saying this game doesn't work for regular 3DS or 2DS. You need a 3DS XL to even see the characters. And then there's the trouble walking, I hear. And then, they, and then they say stuff like, the freest one has long air lag, and I think that means, like, you're in the air for a while, you can't do anything. I mean, I don't care about the technical stuff, but the controlling is what I'm worried about. So, I'm definitely going to have more fun with the Wii U version, especially since the Wii U version is going to have uh, probably the best feature. They're probably hiding something and they're going to tell us when the Wii version comes out. Because so far, we've been hearing Smash uh, run. We've been uh, seeing stuff like uh, an update to Home Run Contest and the other modes. I mean, really, all we're missing right now is Stage Builder, um, Events, um, well, All-Star will get uh, when the game's finished. And let's see, uh, any other modes that are in the previous Smashes? Well, I doubt they would bring back board the platform, so I don't think that's a return feature, but you never know. Sakurai likes to use old ideas. Let's see, um, the items look interesting. I, pl I play with items, so I know I'm gonna have a fun time. However, I don't like the beetle item. It looks like it's, uh, easy killing technique, so hopefully you can shake out of it. I've seen one guy on YouTube do it. Uh, let's see, um... My only concern for this Smash is regarding Sonic. I really hope his customizable moves, since so far, look, um... maybe changeable, because so far I've seen Mega Man's special move turn from his dog to a bird, and I'm wondering, they could do that with Sonic, like, have his spin dash, that's his side B, his down B is a charge, there's a difference. His side B spin dash could turn into a boost, or he could throw a ring and homing attack after it, like he does in Sonic Battle. There is so much Sonic Battle they could have done in this game, but they chose not to. I mean, he could have had, like, his, uh, axe kick as a meteor smash or something. I mean, maybe there's these options in the special moves, but I just hope that we don't just get, like, Sonic getting, like, different versions of his moves he already has. I hope he actually gets, like, a new move. Like, I hope his customizable moves are, like, two different moves for each thing, because I can only say they, they can change his spinning. I mean, Sonic does more than just spin, he does other stuff. Sega, Flash Nintendo, <laughs> Flash Namco. I mean, you're, you're giving all this treatment to Mega Man. He's basically Mega Man's series entirely. And then you're having Pac-Man represent Namco. I mean, come on, give Sonic something. I mean, I'm happy that he's stronger and fast in, in this game, but I don't want him to just have spin moves. That's one of the reasons why people didn't like him. He was just so simple. But yeah, just do that to Sonic. Um, anything else I want to talk about, really? Uh, my thoughts? Oh, characters. Um, I'm going to say who I want in Smash at the end, but for some character ideas, I thought, like, uh, 
for Lucas change his special move. Like, he can keep PK freeze, but change his other special moves. Because I, I don't like how he's, like, has a different way of fighting, but his special moves are just tiny changes of Nesses. So, hopefully, they either change the special move, or Ness and Lucas' special moves will change with their customizable moves. And I know Lucas and Ness have high chances of coming back, because Nintendo is ignoring Mother Free. So, if they're going to ignore Mother Free, the least they're going to do for people that want Mother Free is bring back Lucas. If they don't, we're still going to get Ness. So we're going to get some Mother or slash Earth balancing in this game. Next, uh, Ice Climbers. I've been saying this to my friends at school, and I'm surprised no one on YouTube ever said this. What if they decide to separate Nana and Popo? Or Popo and Nana, or whatever you want to call them in between. I mean, they did that with, um, Olimar, kind of. Like, Olimar had six Pikmin, and when he plucked them, they were random. Now, they're in an order, and there's three of them. Which I kind of suspected, since a lot of his pictures, they only showed three Pikmin. So, what they could do is change Ice Climbers to Ice Climber, give Nana slash Popo the strength of both of them, and just change the... Upbeat? Yeah, Upbeat. Change the Upbeat to, like, they fly with, um, that dragon pterodactyl sing that they show up with on the stage. I mean, just do that. That'd be so simple. I mean, they keep saying, uh, what about the Ice Climbers? Doc Garth said that he had a hard time making them. Well, if they do that, they can totally put them in. I mean, seriously, Nana and Popo look exactly the same. The only difference is, um, I think Nana has more girlish eyes and her hair is bit different, and she wears pink. Seriously, that's like free changes. That would take at least that would take like at least uh, five minutes to do. I mean, look at Villager. He's probably the same size as Ice Climbers, and we might get like six different versions of both genders, so yeah. I hear people say they want like uh, multiple versions of uh, Robin while I'm on the top of the Villager. Now, um... Let's see. Uh, any other veteran I want to talk about? Um, okay, one, uh, I totally knew that, um, Falcon was coming back, so I wasn't expecting him to come back this early, and to me he's kind of old. Midnight? Not surprised, but I do like his, uh, little things he has on his hands now. Um, I'm not expecting to see Ness in a trailer, but I am expecting to see, like, Wario or the Ice Climbers in one. Or in Lucas. Like, really, what we're missing is Wario and Lucas. And that's pretty much, uh, the, the, the starters in Brawl, right? Yeah, I think this is the starters in Brawl. Because Pokemon Trainer is gone. I guarantee he ain't coming back. Maybe Squirtle and Ivysaur, but that's just a maybe. I'm not guaranteeing anything. But yeah, um, I guess all that's left to talk about is, uh, what newcomers I wanted to see, and who I want to see. Okay, uh, on my list, I had Sonic, Mies, Rayman, Paper Mario, and Ridley. Now, Sonic came back, which... I cried the day that happened, and Mies, I fell out of my chair when that happened. I was like, well, why are those two fighting? And then when they got to the Mies, I was like, oh my god, Mies are in, Mies are in, Mies are in, Mies are in, Mies are in. My friend had to slap me just to make me stop saying that. And not only are Mies in, they got like free versions, which I like, and no one thought of that. Like everyone, including myself, said, they're either going to give them customizable moves, or they're going to make up some sort of me moveset. And 
they like did something in the middle because they have customizable moves and they're made up. I mean, sure you could say, Mwah. the Meat Fighter is just Mario mixed with Little Mac, and the Swordsman is just Link mixed with every other Swordsman, and the Gunner is just mixed with Mega Man and Samus. Well, what do you expect? It's hard to make up a move set. I mean, do you know how hard it would have been to make a move set for three characters that are essentially one character? Not to mention, can you imagine what Kirby's gonna look like as soon as he inhales a me? He's probably gonna get like all the hairstyles the Mii's have. Like, I think there's like 15 different hairstyles you can get for a me. Unless Kirby inhales the me and gets uh, their face, it'd be kind of weird. But at the same time, it wouldn't be too odd. Eh, well, I guess we'll see that when that happens. I'm guessing he'll either get a me mask or he'll get your me's hair and maybe eyebrows. But yeah, that's about me's. Okay, uh. I guarantee Ridley's gonna show up. We've already seen, like, his shadow, but I don't think he's just gonna be a boss, because so far Sakurai hasn't said it's Ridley. He's, he said boss. An enemy. He hasn't said any names, so unless he says like, "Oh my God, Ridley's attacking," then I'm not gonna say he's not in. So far, he definitely looks like he's in. For all the teasing Sakurai's doing. Next, uh, I would have to say my reasons. Uh, Paper Mario. Now, Paper Mario. I feel like he might have a chance because we haven't seen a trophy of Paper Mario. We've seen Paper Peach, but we haven't seen. A Paper Mario trophy of the, well, Mario paper look like. I mean, we got a stage of him on the free, yeah, so it's not far off saying he's not going to be a character. I mean, he has lots of potential. He definitely does a lot more than what regular Mario does. And his series is very popular. Seriously, I have, like, all the games. And I've beaten all of them. And I have multiple files on all of them. <laughs> That's how awesome Paper Mario is. Honestly, they gotta make a Paper Mario Wii U if he is in this Smash Butter. Well, if he's in this one, he might get added later. Because, personally, I feel like this might be the last Smash Butter and they'll just add characters to this game. I mean, how are they gonna top this Smash Butter? Next Smash Butter, you see Mario fighting Master Chief? Like, that's gonna never gonna happen. Well, I guess you could make a Master Chief B. But, yeah, I feel like Super Mario has a very high chance of showing up, and um, if he doesn't, I won't be too sad. Now, as for Ray, man, he's an odd pick to, to be on my character want list. Well, honestly, I'd rather have Rayman than Mega Man. I mean, sure, Rayman's not as legendary as Mega Man, but he's still very cartoony. I mean, I feel like if you're gonna join Smash Butter, you need to have a good moveset and cartoony. That's why I get angry when people say dumb stuff, like, uh, Bowser Jr. or Koopa. I mean, what moveset are they gonna have? Like, Bowser Jr.'s moveset pretty much got smashed to pieces since they're not gonna have transforming characters. I mean, they could make up something for Bowser Jr., but it still wouldn't be like Bowser Jr. Sakurai says it himself. He wants characters to be who they are. So, I don't feel like Bowser Jr. would be who he is if he didn't at least turn to Shadow Mario. Or at least had as a Final Smash. But, yeah. I feel like Rayman has a good heart with Nintendo. And I hopefully he's not just a trophy. That'd be kind of mean. I mean, could you imagine if in Brawl we got a trophy of Snake or Sonic and they weren't playable? I mean, I'd be like, what the heck? We get a trophy of these guys and they're not playable? I mean, that'd be weird. I mean, personally, I don't like Snake in Brawl, but I still think he's a good video game character. And him being in the game wasn't too bad. Like, I didn't like how he played. Well, actually, to be honest, I don't think he fits 
I mean, he lived in a new character, and he's pretty unique. Ah, did I say it right? But, he's not cartoony enough. Like, seriously, you put Mario next to Snake, and you're like, wait, what? Who's the tall guy? <laughs> I mean, seriously, Snake's probably the realistic-looking person in the game. Even more realistic-looking than Marf and Samus. But, yeah. I mean, Snake would have been good in Playstation and All-Star better than this Smash Brothers Brawl. And, like, I don't hope he doesn't come back, because... I'd rather I have Brayman than Snake and Mega Man. And that's a weird thing to say. But yeah, I'm just gonna say though. I kinda don't care for Mega Man. I mean, from what I hear, he's not that good. And also... I don't like him. Like, he's a good video game character, but I never liked his games. They're just... too hard for me to play. Like, I've played two which I own, and I can't beat, like, Lightning Man, or whatever his name is. I c can't beat, uh, Mega Man X7, or X7, or whatever it's called. But what? Why don't they call him Mega Man? They only call him X. But he's called Mega Man X. That's the weird thing that bothers me. But, yeah. I feel like, uh, if I was in charge of character choosing, I would have had Rayman on the list. But who knows, maybe he'll get added in later, for all we know. And this video will be obsolete! <laughs> but yeah, I got hopes for Ridley and Super Mario, and Rayman who'd be nice. Because if he's not in this game, and he's a and he's a trophy, that's going to weird me out. It's going to weird me out so much to see a third party character is not even a playable one. Well, I guess I've been talking long enough. So, yeah. Those were my Smash Twitter thoughts. Uh, who knows? I might make this his own series, like. Um. Thoughts. I have been thinking of doing, like, a Sonic thought. You know, side the hedgehog, do 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 do. Well, I guess. Trying to wrap things up, I don't know what else to say, like... Let's see, talk about characters, stages, how I feel... I mean... I guess that's really it. Okay, well... Sorry if I haven't been uploading. It's just that my, my internet's definitely kinda weird. Well, not my internet, uh, okay, well, my, my internet's fine, it's just that my, uh... Computer that I use to upload videos has been acting kind of weird lately. It won't like link into this wire, so I can't upload any videos. Let's hit for this one. I'm gonna use my iTouch to record this. So, yeah, this has been my POTS video. Uh, thanks for anyone who actually watched the whole thing. And for people who didn't watch the whole thing, uh, you should give this video a try. I mean, I'm just saying my thoughts, but it's still nice to at least get some views. I know I'm not the most popular guy on YouTube, but it's nice to get a view once in a while, so visit my channel. And, uh, in the future, maybe I can fight you in Smash. Just send me, uh, your, your friend code so we can fight. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. This has been Christopher Wee. Thanks for watching me, and see ya.